Hey, what's up guys? It's Matt with The Movement System. I'm here with Draymond Jones from the Denver Broncos today to go over the T-test with you. We're going to talk about testing parameters, how we run the test, some things we're going to look for, and then we'll get into normative data as well. Let's go ahead and dive into it. All right guys, so the T-test really fits in for athletes that are going to involve change of direction in their sport. So they're going to be doing things like lateral movements, sports like lacrosse, uh, even baseball, soccer, uh, football, all volleyball, all these sports that are involved agility type movements. So the T-test is going to be a test of agility. It's really a change of direction test in the sense that it's a, it's a planned course. What we're going to do is we're going to start here with the red cone 10 yards away. And these cones basically make a T right here. So we're going to sprint up to the first cone. It's going to be a side shuffle to the left. Feet can't cross on this drill. So if you see feet crossing, guys, we're gonna have to redo that one. 10 yards forward, we're gonna touch the cone with the hand. Five yard shuffle to the left, we're gonna touch that cone with the hand. 10 yard shuffle to the right, touch that one with the hand. Five yards back to the top of the tee there. And then we're gonna back pedal all the way back through. Go! Time. When we think about what's a good score for this test, uh, really for men, we're looking at around 10 seconds. And this is gonna be athlete specific. A larger linebacker uh, might not quite begin to do the 10s. A basketball player, a soccer player, a football player might be looking around that 10, 10 and a half seconds is a pretty good score for the T-test. If we're seeing their scoring in the 14 second range, they're, they're probably a little slow and need to improve their agility. Uh, for women, we're really looking anywhere from 10 to 12 seconds on this uh, as a pretty good score for the T-test. All right guys, so we're gonna talk about how we can take the T-test and make it a little bit more of an agility-based test. Really, whenever we're thinking about a, a planned, structured test where we always know we're going left, that's gonna be more of a change of direction drill. If we're gonna make this agility-specific, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Dre come back here at the start line. I'm gonna stand here at back at this cone, so I'm gonna wait till he's about a yard or two away from this cone, and then I'll cue him right or left. Go! Left! And he's gonna go ahead and finish the drill. So I cued him to my left, but I gave him a, a, a directional point with my hand. You can go whatever you want if you want. You can see these are yellow and red cones on the two sides. I could call yellow, I could call red. But anyway, giving that verbal cue or even tossing a ball or something like that and giving that, that response where the athlete has to respond to it, that's going to make this a little bit more based on the, the neuro component of performance and make it more agility than just change of direction. All right, guys, so I hope this helps you with administering the T-test for your athletes. If it did, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want more videos like this about strength conditioning and movement science, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. There's also a link in the description below for the strength and conditioning study group on Facebook. If you're studying for the CSCS, this is a great way to learn more about all those topics and dive into these topics a little bit deeper. All right, guys, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.